Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And on today's show, I show you what it's like to go to a Manchester United versus Liverpool game. The biggest game of the season against the two most bitter rivals in English football. English football is synonymous with great football teams, and two standouts in particular, Manchester United and Liverpool. They are the most successful clubs in all of England, and to nobody's surprise, they absolutely hate each other. No player has transferred directly between them since 1964, and when they do play each other, it's often very violent, very contentious, and there's always something you'll remember about this game. Traditionally, the cities and their inhabitants have always hated each other anyway, and if you want to know the exact reasons why, check out my other video on my other channel. But suffice to say that both sets of fans are as bad as each other. This game is the biggest game of the season for both clubs, and when you go into Manchester or Liverpool on a day where they're playing each other, you'll notice some significant differences. Firstly, every pub in both cities is packed not just with matchgoers, but with people who couldn't get tickets just wanting to watch it on the TV. There's no pub within a three mile radius of the stadium that isn't packed with queues of people waiting to get in. Then there's the stadium itself, and when you walk around the stadium it seems relatively normal, but then you'll notice these guys, police. And these just aren't ordinary police, these are riot cops. I've never seen this many police officers in one place anywhere. I think the whole fleet of the Greater Manchester Police's mounted guards are here as well. There's a riot cop literally every 10 yards. And they're also spying on you from the gantries. The amount of police presence is certainly overkill, but given how much these two sets of fans hate each other and how much violence generally erupts, this is not a surprise. But don't get me wrong, things are pretty normal. You can still partake in fan activities, you can still go into the shop, but make no mistake, the police are absolutely everywhere, so no misbehaving whilst you're here. Now there's certain parts of the stadium you can't actually go into, because they've barricaded it off to the public, especially the entrance for the players and officials, especially around the Liverpool team bus over here. And if you're an away fan, you'll have your own police escort whilst entering the stadium and they try and separate the fans through various barriers, etc. Once you've got your ticket, you'll be security checked, airport styly, before given access to the concourses. The concourses here at United are pretty basic, and most of the people just stand around and watch the TVs anyway. When you step out into the stadium, you'll notice that the atmosphere is different too. There's a lot of anxiousness at the moment because Manchester United aren't playing particularly very well, and Liverpool are beating everybody by a score of 5-0 or more, but for a game like this, all form goes out of the window, and anything can happen. Literally anything. So whilst I'm here actually, let me show you around the stadium. Over on the west side here, this is the Stratford End. This is where all the hardcore, bloodthirsty Manchester United fans sit, and if you get a ticket up here, you'll be standing most of the game. Over there is the North Stand, aka the Sir Alex Ferguson Stand. This is the largest stand here at Old Trafford. If you get to the lower half of the North Stand, it's actually pretty good. Over there is the East Stand, and right next to this back corner here is where all the away fans sit. I'm currently sat here in the South Stand, and believe it or not, I actually have a season ticket here. So this is pretty much my view for the rest of the season. And if you do want to come and say hi, here's where I'm sitting. And to be honest, the view is pretty damn good. The teams come on the field about 30 minutes before kickoff, and this is to warm up. So if you want close up photos of your favorite players, this is pretty much the best time to get them. Literally stand right at the front there and aim your camera and shoot. As the players come out onto the field and line up for the team photos, the stadium is now full and it's getting pretty loud in here. And the atmosphere here at Old Trafford is pretty good anyway, but against their bitter rivals, it's pretty much off the charts. After a bright start, by which we should have scored after just six minutes, Liverpool come back and draw first blood. 1-0 Liverpool. 
and their fans are going nuts. It only took them 14 minutes. But surely it can't get any worse, right? Alexander Arnold, and it's two. Easy. Wait, what? 2 0? Already? We've barely played 20 minutes. It's pretty obvious to all the fans in the stadium that something isn't quite right. And no matter how much huffing and puffing we do, Liverpool eventually gets number three. Salah. He keeps on. Being 3 0 down against your bitterest rivals in under 40 minutes is pretty bad showing. The United fans aren't too happy, and the United players are involved in a bit of argy bargy. I'd expect nothing less from this fixture. But surely it can't get any worse, right? Salah! Yep, it's worse. Wow. It's 4 0. It is. And everyone in the stadium, except if you're a Liverpool fan, is absolutely cheesed off. Case in point, my friend here. You're going home already? Oh dear. Alright, well, see you next week, I guess. Now, she's been a United fan since she was eight, and she's been coming here since she was eight. But even she couldn't stand the crap that was being produced on the field. Anyway, in the second half, hopefully we'll regroup and hopefully something will happen. Surely it can't get any worse, right? What a pass that is for Mo Salah. Is this going to be the hat trick? It certainly is. And it does. Liverpool 5, Manchester United 0. And at this point, the Liverpool fans are openly mocking us. <laughs> Surely Ronaldo has to score here. Yes, we finally got one back. And, oh wait, hang on a minute. Is it being disallowed? Yep, it's been disallowed. But surely it can't get any worse, right? Oh wait, what's happening here? Ooh, that looks like a bad tackle. Please don't tell me. For the love of God, oh no! Poor Pogba being sent off just 15 minutes after he's come on the field. At this point, Liverpool really, really don't need to do anymore, so they literally let their foot off the gas. Not that we could penetrate or score against them, of course. This game ended up pretty stale in the second half. Quite a lot of the United fans have actually gone home. And me? Well, I love my team. I stuck around to the end. But as you can tell from this video, I'm far from happy. Usually, games between these two clubs are hotly contested and they're pretty tight. So to watch your favourite team die on the football field against their bitter rivals, it's really, really not fun. I mean, credit to Liverpool, they played an absolute blinder on that day. And their striker, Mo Salah, Jesus, he's probably the best player in the world right now. So take nothing away from those guys, but boy, this is a painful pill to swallow. For safety reasons, they don't allow the away fans to leave the stadium until about half an hour after all the home fans have gone. Looking at these Liverpool fans, I don't think they'll mind. They'll happily sing and mock us, whilst we literally run away with a tail between our legs. And after a bitter loss like this, everyone just wants to get the hell out of there. Overall guys, score aside, this is the biggest football game in the entire English football season. And if you do get a chance to come over here and watch a Liverpool vs Manchester United game, I highly recommend it. Just not when one team is beating the crap out of the other team 5-0. Okay Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you need to come here to Manchester or Liverpool. Tickets for these two teams are notoriously difficult to get a hold of, and it's even harder against each other. Now there's only two guaranteed ways to get tickets. Number one is to be a season ticket holder like me, and number two is to buy a hospitality package. So this usually involves like a three course meal or a hotel stay, and this actually guarantees you a ticket. Failing that, you'll need to be a member of each team's fan club and you have to apply for tickets. It's potluck if they actually choose you to buy a ticket and you'll need to apply six weeks before the game or as soon as they make tickets available for application. You could chance it with the ticket touts lurking outside the stadium, but you'll be paying through your nose and there's no guarantee that the thing they've given you is real. Third party websites are pretty much the same. The cost? Well, tickets will cost you anywhere between 36 and 50 pounds for each club if you're taking corporate hospitality, you can expect to pay about £150 or more. And the ticket touts outside the stadium, they usually charge three to four times the face value of the ticket if it's actually real. So for example, a 50 quid ticket, they'll probably ask you for 200. 
Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, security at these football matches are tight anyway, but as you've seen from the footage, there's riot police everywhere and they're recording your every move, so misbehaving is a big no-no. You definitely won't get away with it. Starting the season, both clubs will send your tickets digitally, and sometimes it can be a pain in the ass to load on your phone. So, if you're having trouble, get here early and visit the ticket office and they'll sort you out with a paper version. There's also a new baggage policy in the Premier League, so no bags bigger than an A4 sheet of paper is allowed. The best thing to do is not bring a bag at all, but if you absolutely have to, there's bag storage facilities at a charge. But overall guys, if you want to experience English football in all of its glory, I highly recommend that you try and get tickets to a Manchester United vs Liverpool game, either here at Old Trafford or at Anfield, but I gotta admit, it's going to be pretty hard to get the tickets. If you've enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, share and subscribe, comment on the comment section below and if you've got any other ideas for bucket list videos, tweet them at me. If I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. David De Gea. Number two, Victor Lindelof. Hey! Number five, the captain, Harry Maguire. Hey!